Buddy, welcome to the channel Sheepdog Logic. I made a video uh, Wednesday. Today's Saturday. I just got home not too long ago, about an hour and a half ago, I think. Uh, had to work today to make up for Wednesday. Wednesday I had off due to the truck not starting at work and uh, it was going to take them a day to fix it. So I came home and did some work on the cab over, but uh, and I did a video of it, but there was no uh, audio at all. So I just deleted it. You know, there wasn't much to it. Um, I'm going to do most of it. I'm going to touch on most of it right now. Um, I did a project Wednesday, but a small project, and I got uh, I got other things started. I got all my parts in, uh, so I can do... Let's turn it around so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. So I can do all the lights. Mm -hmm. All the lights on the cab now. I got all those in. I think I told you that in one video already. Um, now, look at the uh, quarter panels. Or, quarter panels. <laughs> quarter fenders put the new uh, quarter fender international black mud flaps on that's what I did Wednesday and I walked you through cleaning the there's a, a brace on the back of it uh, that, well here there you go now you can see it get you over there there you go see the, the brace that was all rusty from being on there before. Um, I also did the uh, steel wool, the uh, fine, fine steel wool that they make, the finest they make, which is zero, 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 zero on the package. Uh, you can use that to clean off the rust off your chrome, and it works. Um, I don't remember, if you look at some of my videos, sorry for the big swing around here, but I wanna, I'm talking about it, so. There you go. They ain't perfect, they're dirty. They, they got they got cleaning up to to be done, so they need to be cleaned up. So I've decided I'm going to go ahead and have a guy polish them. I ain't picked nobody yet. I don't know when they're going to. Look at the tanks. I mean, the tanks are pretty pretty dull. You've seen them. They're they're just basic dull aluminum tanks. So I'm going to definitely get the bumper done and the tanks done and the wheels done, the quarter fender done, and that's about. It. I mean, nothing. Just just clean it up. Just buff it up. Make it clean and make it look good. You know. Uh, it's not a show truck so uh, anyway so i got the international mud flaps on the quarter fenders and uh i'm going to replace the uh they take a a bolt with a uh, castle nut and uh, uh two of the bolts slash castle nuts broke taking them off so i had to go to the hardware store well their castle nuts look a little bit different they're more narrow uh, they take the same size uh, socket but they're they're just different and uh so and also the bolt that i'm using is like an man it's a good it's a 16th of an inch too long i think if i uh went with a 16th they had a second another size there so i'm going to go back i'm going to get the shorter size of the bolt and uh yeah actually i can probably go an eighth i think it's an eighth of inch, inch shorter bolt so and i know i can do that so because i don't need washers flat washers all i need is a lock washer really uh because there's metal on both sides that so you don't really need a washer uh, except a lock washer so i may put lock washer on it may not and you know what else i'm going to put on it that i'm sick and tired of forgetting uh anti-seize and i got it right here <laughs> oh shoot now what i do i forgot what i did with it i left it out because i didn't want to forget about it oh ah, well i'll find it but anyway i got some but check this out This right here. This is the uh, the uh, cab corner, passenger side cab corner mount uh, that's got to be changed. And uh, that's it right there. This is the one that I uh, got from a, a junkyard, and it's in really good shape. Really good, solid all the way around. Every spot solid. This is the part that goes on the bottom, goes down. This part goes up top, and this is where the uh, cylinder hooks to right there um, I, I sprayed it already with this uh, Osfo I put some in there so I can spray it and I sprayed that and I also sprayed the uh, spots on the frame let me get you down there uh, right down there was where the mud flaps were and then right over there is where that uh, pressure protection valve is goes and I'm gonna, I got some black paint. See, that's what happens when you, when, uh, you probably can't see it too good. 
in the picture in the film but it may be um, on this you can probably see a little better what it does this is what it does you first you have to clean it up you have to clean it get all, get all the scale off of it get it down to a smooth surface and then you spray that osfo all over it and you let it sit for 24 hours and then you rinse it off with water i already sprayed it wednesday and then i just rinsed it off today a little more than 24 hours ain't gonna hurt nothing uh this is this is what the white part is what is it's really attacking uh but there were some spots in here that i had missed uh that need to be cleaned up a little bit so i cleaned them up and re-sprayed it just a minute ago um and then i'm gonna wash it off tomorrow and and paint it uh but this is a solid piece good to go i don't know if i'm gonna use this part because mine's already on there so i don't know uh, it looks like I'll be able to get this bolt out pretty good, pretty easy. Um, so I may. I may use that uh, just because it'll be easier to use uh, than take that off and then take that one off and then switch them. Why do that when they're all... Just take the whole thing off, swap it out with the whole thing, right? Um, so that's probably what I'm going to do. Now check this out. Something else. Uh, surprise, surprise. Look at there. Look at that bad boy. The bolts out yeah I'm happy to so a friend of mine got it out uh, I'm pretty sure he just used a t torch to heat it up real good and knock that bolt right out and like I thought it was just a bolt there's no bushing in there or nothing it's just a, a bolt that fits snug in there it as you can see it fell right out came right out I should say uh, so it's it's got some play in there but you know when I put it back put the new one back in I'm gonna put some of that anti-seize on it I don't want, this is bullshit. A friend of mine, a mechanic of mine told me that he, every time he changes shocks, he just torches the, the old shocks off, torches the bolts off and replaces everything. He don't even try to take them out. So that's, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, there's no reason to torch them off every time you gotta change the shock. So, um, yeah. So the new bolts get anti-seize and uh, the nut gets anti-seize. Now I'm not, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna put anti-seize on the U-bolt nut, no. Uh, just like you don't put anti-seize on a uh, nut on the wheel, wheel nuts. No. Uh, you don't do that because when you put a wheel nut on or something like that, like the U-bolt nuts, uh, those type of nuts, you put them on just enough to start uh, stretching the threads, right? And if you have uh, anti-seize or any kind of liquid or... or, or any kind of material like that that's slip oily or greasy it, it'll it'll spin farther than it needs to so it, and it can back off so you don't want to put anti-seize um, on those type of nuts um, and I forgot what that's called but I'm sure somebody watching this video will put it in the comments and that's fine that's good we're all here to learn uh, oh another thing I did just a little bit ago Right there, you can tell that's new, right? Yep, put a new ribbon in there, ribbon nut. And I had to buy all of these to get that one. And I had to buy the rivet install gun just to put it in. So now I got a rivet install gun, rivet nut install gun, and I got a bunch of rivet nuts. <laughs> oh well, you never know when you can use them. So. Um, they, I got multiple sizes, and the rivet gun is for multiple sizes, so no big deal. Um, so I got the uh, leveler valve and the uh, uh, pressure, pressure protection valve. So one of the things I want to do today before the sun goes down is, uh, well, I want to paint that little spot right there. Just to paint this over, make sure that rust is covered up and it's protected. This paint that I put on here is rust preventiveness, rust preventive paint. Uh, anyway, and also I got to get this uh, piece off down here. I don't know if I can get you to see that. But, well, let's just find out. I get my arm out of the way. This piece right here. No, you can't see it unless I move the... Oh, jeez. There we go. Right here. 
this is the bottom piece to the uh, leveler valve. So I gotta take that out and I wanna get that done now. And I also wanna paint that. So um, can't paint that until I find a brush anyway. So I gotta find a brush. Uh, but let's see if we can get that piece off on the bottom. And I don't know if I can set you up where you can see me taking it off. Or not. Oh, I wonder if I can do it over here. <gasps> Get out of here, Skeeter. Man, no matter where I put you, you can't see it. I can't put you there. Well... I think you can see good enough, so I'm gonna need some wrenches. I already sprayed it the other last weekend, so hopefully uh, it'll come loose. Cause I wanna put the new one on. I guess I could just use this one, but I got a brand new one, so why not use the new one? So I need a wrench. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Might as well get you. All right, let's see. Don't need that, don't need this stuff. Don't need this. Don't need this. Sure it ain't millimeter. So get off the standard. And I'm thinking half inch to nine sixteenths. Five eighths. Half uh, it ain't half inch. I tell that's too small just looking at it. Nine sixteenths. See if that even fits it. Ooh, too big. Maybe it is half inch. Why that half inch don't look? Let's give it a shot. Yep, that's the size. Ooh. I'm gonna have to use my hammer to smack it. place I can put you so you can see. Oh, come on. Well, it's turning. But there's also a nut on the bottom. I wonder if that's half inch or smaller. Almost looks smaller. Feels smaller, I should say. There's 7 sixteenths, but I'm betting it's a half inch, just like the top one. Yep, of course it is. Of course it is. I hate using these, I really do. I should just go get another wrench. But, we'll give it a shot. You know, you might as well give it a shot. No, I broke it off. That's good news. I don't mind that. Now I gotta bang it out. Ah, because it's 
broke off in there, but that ain't no big deal. I'm glad I took it off then, because that tells me it's jump, rotted. So now I gotta go get a uh, punch and punch that, huh? punch that out. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. All right. Wow, I'm actually remembering how to use my camera today. So it broke off. No good. So I got a new one. So we can put that on. Because I don't need to paint nothing to put that on. Everything on the inside of the frame, I'm not painting. I'm not. It's fine. Uh, it's sitting makes it look worse than it does once it starts rolling down the road. Once, once I started using it again, it just, I don't know, all the road grime and everything getting all over it just made it look a lot better. So I'm, I didn't paint anything on the inside. It, just the top of the frame and the outside of the frame. That's the only thing I painted. And I never painted anything that moves, like the springs, leaf springs, you know, or anything like that. All right, what am I doing? Oh, I got to get the box, so I'll take you with me. All right, let's go get this uh, new lever valve, shall we? It's right there. I also got, uh, yeah, I told you, I got my shrink. What do they call these? They got shrink on them, so you, you they're butt connectors. Put them on, then you heat them up, and they shrink, seal them up. So I got all them for all the lights. And I got the crimpers to crimp them on. And I even bought some uh, strippers to strip the wire. I want to try them out. I've never used these type of strippers before. bolt that came out of that shock mount. I'm going to keep the washer. Washer's fine. Washer's fine. And the mount's fine. Let's see if I can see. It's hard. It doesn't even look like it's hard to see that he even heated it up. But I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to paint it black. And then I'm going to replace this bolt. Get a new bolt and nut. And I'm going to get a Right, let me show you how. If you remember how it went together, well, some of y'all might not have seen it, so. Ah. So it goes. It goes like this. This is the shock. Or was. I cut the shock off. It goes like that. It goes like that. No. Nope. Right the first time. And it goes like this. And then on the back side, I'm gonna, there wasn't one. There was just a nut. I think it's a special nut that, that tightens as you, as you tighten it, it tightens down. So it can't back off by itself whatsoever. But where am I gonna find a nut like that, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe international, maybe. I'm gonna, find, I'm gonna try to find one, but I don't know. I don't know. Otherwise, I'll just put a nut, another washer like, like this one on this side, then a lock washer and then another nut hardened nut hardened bolt that should be good enough but if i can find uh shock bolts still at the dealership then i'll get them because they'll have the proper nuts all right Here's that part I just took off, the old one. If I can get this, there we go. Yep, brand new. That's the one I just took off is the old one. It broke, this one's brand new. So we got everything, everything we need. So let's open this one. 
And we'll see, uh, see if we can get this on tonight before the sun goes down. Oh, look at there, even got directions, that's awesome. And here it is. And it's a hall deck, same exact one that was on there, which is awesome. All right, now let's, let's read the instructions, shall we? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's easy. So this is the which pull. I guess this. Yeah, that is that one goes. There it goes. Okay. Probably right about there. We will adjust it. Here, let me turn this down so you can see what I'm doing at least. There you go. I just put this rod through here. Goes like that. This rod. goes there I think I got the right hand doesn't look like it matters and these are gonna go on there one there one there this pin Can't pick it up. <laughs> Trying to slow down here. Okay, so like that. And that pin goes through, but there's a washer going on. And then this part. goes on here and this pole goes down through there why'd they only send me two of those I only have four oh, this is a plate. This is a plate I think I should have some more of them uh, I might have to go get my old one and use the uh, hose clamps off it because I should have four washer goes behind each one I should be able to put that on now and I should go put this on first before I Put it together with that. I don't know where this plate goes. I don't remember taking a plate off there, did I? That's okay, we can. But I should have four of these. One, two, three, four. I should have four. Why do I have three nuts?
Yeah, the picture is showing a different piece than what we got here. But we can make it. I mean, they'll work. I'm going to go get my old one. If I can remember what I did with this dadgum thing. You can come with me. I think I know where it's at. I didn't throw it in the... In the I think I put it over here. In it. Oh, I just got to remember what I did with it. Oh, found it. Yeah, this one's set up the exact same way. So I'll just take the, uh, yeah, this one was just like that. And then this part, which is that part, was like that. And it would go on this, like this. So, no big deal. Um, they just had one. But I can take both of these and use them both. So let me get a flathead screw. Of course, I don't have the right bag. I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Love having my own tools. I'm gonna buy more and more. All right, we need a flathead screwdriver. It's just gonna work right here. Yep, and there is a washer and then that. I'm just gonna set it up the same way. Should have used sock. Yeah, I'm gonna use a sock. That's retarded. So nine. I can't see it. This might be it right here. Nope, next side. Cut this, uh, oh, I can't remember what they call it. There we go. I guess I'm gonna have to take them all the way off. They're rusted on there, they ain't coming off. Still in good shape, so no need not to use them. There we go. I just gotta remember how this went. So I forget. Pretty simple really. Alright, just like that. Jeez, please. Alright, so no 
big deal there. We can take this over there. I think I'll just take this off for now because I know how it goes. Right there, right there, right there. We'll mount this. I already got the bolts. Uh, I, I'm using the. What the heck? Oh, come on. What, 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 what? Hold on. What the hell is disconnected? Why? I hope I'm still recording because this is ridiculous. There we go. I don't know what's going on. Stuff just decides to do whatever it wants to do. I'm sure you guys have all had that problem. All right. Now remember this goes here. Where do my bolts go? Right here. See, I cleaned them up. They're, they look brand new. Nothing wrong with them at all. Cleaned them up on the wire wheel. All good to go, so I didn't have to buy new ones. sure what this plate's supposed to be for. But it don't look like we need it. Good, good, good. Glad you guys can see. Some of this stuff ain't uh, easy to film. When you got one camera, which is an iPhone, and I believe that's a half inch. Oh yeah. No, that ain't a half inch. 716th. Oh yeah. something to hold that and that's too big. Oh look at there. I got all kinds of these. Uh oh this one ain't been used in a while. It's starting to get stick stuck sticky. Alright. Why am I using a socket? Why'd I grab a wrench and not a socket? That's stupid. It's alright. It'll still work, just takes longer. There we go. Dogs are barking. Eh, I can't see them. Let the neighbors worry about it. All right, so that's mounted. Oh, I got a sneeze coming on. Looks fine. 
All right, so we need to mount that other piece down there and then hook it all together. And then this is gonna go here. No, I don't go there, something's missing. Something's missing, I'm missing the other parts. It's all right, I might have to buy some more parts, but I know this goes here. See, I'm missing the part that comes out of there that the screws in. And I know this goes here. And I know this goes here. So, it's all good. Let me go get the uh, other parts. Yeah, see, what the heck? The battery's getting low on my gimbal, so we're gonna have to hurry up here. But look, see, I know I'm gonna have to take these parts off and use them on my new one. So I'll have to do that off camera, but that's what I'm gonna do. But for now I can still hook it up, all the, uh, Are you kidding me? The holes. This is a bigger one. Oh, for Pete's sakes. <laughs> Can you believe it? Looks the same size. Give me a break. Well, maybe I need to run something down through there just to. Yeah. I'll have to run a drill down through there to clean it up. And then I can, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the double nuts on the mother scratcher. Yeah, I think my prep, oh. Ah, quit. Now I can't even use my gimbal. So I'm gonna put two nuts on the bottom to, that'll keep it tight on the bottom. And then I'm gonna put a nut and a lock nut, a nut and a lock nut on the top. It overdo it, I mean, but it'll work. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get all that done off camera because my gimbal needs to be charged overnight. I'll bring you back tomorrow and show you the work that's done. I see it all, I'll have it all hooked up. And uh, sorry you can't watch, but that's electronics for you. Y'all have a good night. Talk to you soon.